want to do a video, TNA, TNA video, um, kind of bound, uh, bound for glory uh, related. Uh, and I noticed on a, on a Facebook page, TNA fans, so to speak, complained that Bound for Glory isn't um, live. An argument was made then it's not actually a pay-per-view then. Anyone remember SummerSlam 1992 from the UK? I do. Unlike that pay-per-view, Bound for Glory at least still occurred on the same day. It's called tape delay, honestly. That SummerSlam was taped on an entirely different day altogether. I remember that WCW thought about holding Starcade in Japan before. I wish they had. This was a bold move for TNA. It's your biggest event of the year. Mine as well go big. Might as well go big. If T Spike TV was actually a friend to TNA, then Bound for Glory would have been built up better by having live episodes leading up and I would have loved having the rest of one guys flown in as well. But I do understand that there was an issue of TNA having the pre-taped episodes and risking the spoilers. Still, I wish that Bobby Lashley versus Bobby Roode was on this pay-per-view. Uh, IWC and spoilers be damned. But I'm still looking forward you know, and to what holds for TNA going forward. The TNA Bound for Glory pay-per-view was great. And, quite honestly, at least there was no one dressed in animal costumes dancing, uh, dancing around. Until next time, adios.